What's going on guys? It's your boy Kyle from Kyle Curtin Real Estate and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what a first investment could be like for the first time you're investing in anything uh, what I did versus kind of what I wish I did so basically I started off and I just went to um, Fidelity which is one of the, the stock brokerages around like there's one in Burlington and um, I walked in I made an account when I turned 18 and I wanted to start off with stocks because I figured that was kind of like the, the big thing and you know I wanted to kind of dip my feet in and see what happened so I did that I watched a ton of videos and read a bunch of books on how to you know evaluate stocks and the numbers and you know PE ratio and all that kind of stuff and I ended up buying a couple and you know eventually I bought some over time and it started to collect and you know I learned some things along the way whatever but what I wish I did is make an emergency fund before I invested in anything now I have one now you know definitely before investing in anything else now that I know but I didn't really know at the time so basically uh, what a lot of people recommend for an emergency fund is like anywhere from three to six months worth of expenses uh, you know just saved in an account or saved in cash or whatever somewhere so when those unexpected expenses come in life, like, you know, a water heater goes or like your car needs a ton of work done, you know, you don't have to throw it on a credit card or anything and put yourself in more debt or go in, you know, hit the overdraft fee or anything. That's money that's just set aside, you know, and it's, it's ready to go when you need it, you know. Obviously, this is easier said than done for a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck and you know it's just kind of how it is like people have to pay for daycare medical expenses all that kind of thing I get that um, but over time even if you throw like you know five dollars a five dollars a day five dollars a week you know 50 bucks a week whatever it is anything extra that you can spare if you throw into like an account um, then that account will will grow over time depending on where you put it and then that money is just going to keep doing its thing and it's there if things hit the fan so then you know if your car if you get in an accident or something and you need like i don't know like a thousand two thousand dollars worth of work or something like that you can just take liquidate the money in one of those accounts and you know you have the money like the day of for that kind of expense instead of having to throw it on a you know your mastercard or whatever and pay it off with interest and yeah, that, it just sounds like kind of a headache, and I'm not really a fan of that kind of thing. But um, anyway, so yeah, basically, the first thing that I would recommend before actually investing in anything and before an emergency fund is to track your expenses. So then you know how much is coming in every month, you know, from work or other things that you're doing, how much is going out every month and where it's going. So like food, insurance, you know, bills, that kind of thing. And then that will tell you a couple things. That will tell you how much roughly you spend every month. It will tell you what your net worth is, which is also pretty important, but not really in this video. Um, and that's like really valuable information. So basically, once you're tracking your expenses, uh, you can start to see a trend, like how much money you spend every month, whether it's like $500, $1,000, $3,000, you know, different for everybody. But anyway, so, once you get that that average of like like three to six months worth of expenses you know it'll be probably roughly around the same number then you can kind of have a baseline for how much you know you would kind of need to put away uh, that would protect you from unexpected expenses so if you were spending like five hundred dollars a month you know over the course of like six months then if you did like five months worth of expenses that would be $2,500, you know, in that account. You know what I mean? Like if you did six months worth of expenses, it would be $3,000 in that account. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of something else, kind of as like protection almost from those unexpected things that happen in life. And, you know, those can really take a hit depending on what kind of situation you're in. And um, an emergency fund, is, it's saved me a couple times, you know, from throwing stuff on a credit card or... Because you can't predict everything that happens. You know, everything just shows up and it's here and you're like, how do I deal with this? I, I don't know. That can be your first line of defense on 
the unexpected. So another thing, so you could either, you know, keep it in cash or throw it in a another bank account, throw it in a checking account, you know, whatever. Uh, I remec I re I remec I recommend keeping it separate from your savings, like keeping it in its own devoted account. So then you're not tempted to get rid of it and, and liquidate it and go spend it on stupid stuff. <laughs> but um, what I personally like to do is I throw it in a high yield savings account, which is basically um, an account that gains interest. You know, that's a lot better than traditional credit unions, like, you know, two cents a, a month or something stupid like that. Because uh, your money's actually losing value when you have it in a regular bank account. But in a high yield savings account, um, I go through Ally, uh, Ally Bank. I'm, you know, not sponsored, but I recommend them all the time, you know, if it's on the table. But uh, yeah, basically, so they don't have any like physical locations or branches that you can go to. They're 100% online. And basically, that's pretty good for high yield savings accounts because they don't have to pay building expenses. They don't have to pay like uh, tellers and stuff like that. Um, it's completely online. So they have like the reserve of money that, you know, they didn't have to pay, you know, for stupid expenses that like regular banks have to pay. Um, so they give people like kind of an incentive to use their bank because it's completely online. And that's by giving them an interest rate on their money. So I think I started off with like, a 1.80% on my money, I think. And that's a lot better than getting like two cents a, a month from a, a credit union, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll do a whole nother video pretty soon on like how the high yield savings accounts work and how to, how to pick one, you know, what to watch out for. Cause I've been through it, I've had mine for a while and uh, Ally has been nothing but good to me. But yeah, so before investing in anything, I recommend having that first layer of protection so track your expenses, even if it's just writing down everything you spend money on. Uh, I use like a Google Sheets. Um, I can remake the sheet and send it to people if that's something that you would be interested in. I've messed with it a, a ton and uh, I finally have a version that I really like. Um, so yeah, so start tracking your expenses, see kind of what position you're at. And then after that, you'll have the baseline of how much you spend every month. And then you can decide, you know, if you want like a thousand dollars in there, you know, like a, a regular number, or if you want like three to six months worth of expenses. I have five right now and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, so yeah, once you do that, then I feel like you can start to branch out a little bit and see if you want to do stocks or save up for real estate or, you know, do whatever you want to do in the investing world and, you know, kind of go from there. But yeah, that added layer of defense is absolutely phenomenal and um i highly recommend it to anybody uh, so yeah let me hear your thoughts on this video um yeah that's that's what's worked out for me ally has been amazing to me and i'm gonna have that for a long time but yeah um let me hear your thoughts on this video below uh yeah have a good day guys